Hello, everybody. I'm Richard Osman. Welcome to a brand new week on House of Games. It's going to be a lovely week this week. I think four famous faces all battling it out for this trophy right here. Who are our players this week? They are Jesse Cave, <laughs> AJ Pritchard, Aisha Hazarika, and Simon Hickson. Hello, everybody. How are you all? Jesse, welcome. Thank you. Actress, comedian, novelist, quizzer? A bad quizzer. Oh, Very that's bad quizzer. music to my ears, well, Jesse. Hopefully, I'll be, you know, at least funny. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Funny and bad at answering. Yeah. That's, listen, that's all we ask. Good. It's in your contract. It's all we ask. AJ, how about you? We know you're competitive, that's for sure. Yes. And we know you can dance. Can you quiz? Um, I don't really know. I'm going to find out today, aren't I? <laughs> um, I've got no expectations, so anything's a bonus at the moment, I feel like. I mean, that has got no I can't quiz written all <laughs> over it. <laughs> yeah, I went around that, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I should have gone straight <laughs> to the point. No. <laughs> uh, Aisha. Now, you went from the world of politics into the world of stand-up. You're more used to question time than this. How are you going to cope this week? I feel more nervous doing this than <laughs> I did when I did question time. Well, I'm not surprised, <laughs> because I think I'm, I am a, a harsher interviewer than Fiona Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my genuine Pretty opinion. Pretty brutal, Richard. Pretty brutal. I will be asking your opinion on all sorts of things as the <laughs> week goes on as well. Simon. Lovely Hello. to have you here. Now, I know you're a good quizzer. You very kindly, with Trev, came on Pointless as well. You've won that a couple of times. Are you going to win House of Games? I don't know. I hope so. At least one. We could all maybe win one and then, you know, that'd we can have been, the fifth. That'd be nice. Again, that answer <laughs> he's been, means... He's being quite subdued. I feel like he's ready to win. Yeah. yeah that answer means... If it's any consolation, I can't dance. Ah. <laughs> that, that, that is a consolation. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, now, of course, somebody wins the trophy at the end of the week, but at the end of every day, we win a daily prize as well. Shall we take a look at today's daily prizes? Please. So if you win Monday's House of Games, you could take home one of these. Oh. There is the robe, there are the coasters, there's the bread bin, the shower curtain, and the compost bin as well. Jesse, what do you think you go for? I love that. I love the bread bin. AJ? It'd have to be the robe. Well, um, look listen, at it. Come if on. anyone would suit that robe. <laughs> That's what I was going you. for. Yeah, beautiful. Aisha? I'm quite fancying the wee compost bin thing. It's very popular. Yeah. The compost very bin. Cool, Sign of the very times. Very eco friendly. Sign of the times, isn't it? Simon? Well, I'll go for the coasters. No, you won't. I will. You're yeah, not going to go for coasters. the coasters. <laughs> you know what? If you win, I'm going to hold you to that. I love coasters. I'm going to... You, you know... I'm not going to get coasters. I, I, I'm <laughs> desperately keen to protect all tables at all costs. <laughs> um, shall we get on and play our first round on our first day of House of Games? Good luck, one and all. Your first round is... <laughs> rhyme time. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'll ask you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. The first question of the week is this. Pirate flag with a white skull and crossbones. Nickname of Jack Dawkins in the Dickens novel, Oliver Twist. Simon. Jolly Roger, Artful Dodger. Jolly Roger, Artful Dodger. He's one step closer to those posters. <laughs> <laughs> they will be yours. <laughs> Next two questions. Who is this? And what is this? That is Aisha. Shane Warren French Horn. Shane Warren French Horn. Beautifully done. Well played, Aisha. Oh, that was good. <laughs> uh, next one. Superman's Girlfriend, played on TV by Terry Hatcher. And 2016 Emily Blunt film, based on a Paula Hawkins novel. Yes, Simon. Sorry. <laughs> Lois Lane, Girl on the Train. Lois Lane, girl on the train. Absolutely. Thank Just nicked it off Jesse there. Next one. A street that is closed at one end. And what is the title of this song? Good guys dress in black. Remember that. Just in case we have a face to face and make. Simon. Cul de sac, men in black. Cul de sac, men in black. Absolutely. Well done. <laughs> Cul de sac, men in black. Next question. First name of the wife of George H.W. Bush. Yorkshire Town in the title of a 1966 Simon and Garfunkel recording. Simon. Barbara Scarborough. 
Barbara Scarborough? Absolutely. Final question in this round. Who is this? And what is the title of this song? What am I gonna do to make you love me? Aisha. Uh, big bird, sorry, seems to be the hardest word. Is the right answer. Well played. Sorry seems to be the hardest word by Elton John. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard. Your first look at your avatars as well. <laughs> I know it's a big moment for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Whoa! <laughs> Simon, how about that? I've never seen the like. <laughs> Not never me. seen the like. <laughs> That's a good one, Simon. Uh, mm. Jesse and AJ yet to get off the mark. Aisha, you have two points. Simon Hickson, an early leader with four points. Let's move straight along, shall we? Play round two, our first pairs game of the week, and it's going to be... Distinctly average. Now, the player in the last place chooses their partner in a pairs game. Jesse and AJ, you're tied third at the moment. Jesse, would you like to choose a partner? I'll choose AJ. You chose we that. Can, we nice. can lose together. Oh, <laughs> Jesse, I'll bring you down. <laughs> look, look how delighted AJ looks. And I'll be, <laughs> be the positive energy that picks you up. I That's am what I'm going to do. That's yeah. what you get with AJ. Positive, positive energy. energy. Exactly. Well, I am the work. most negative person in the world. <laughs> okay. so we even ourselves match. out then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Somewhere in the middle. You are distinctly average between the two of you. That's good. Aisha and Simon, you're also a team. If you'll take your tablets out, please. I will ask you some questions now. I need you to write down a number as your answer. I will then take the average of each pair's answers as their answer. And whichever team is closest wins a point. Here is your first question. According to October 2019 figures from Rajar, approximately how many adults listen to the radio each week in the UK? Hmm. And Rajar, that's the company that measures radio audiences, essentially. <clears throat> OK, everyone is in. What do you think at home on this one? How many people listen to the radio? Jesse, did you have any thoughts on this? I think it's going to be quite low. OK. I reckon it was higher. I, I reckon it's now quite low because lots of people listen to podcasts now. OK, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, makes sense. So... So you've gone for...? A, a one million. One million. Interesting. There's literally, that's the sound of just the entire British radio industry just going, oh, no. I know. I feel, <laughs> I feel really bad now. I'm sorry. <laughs> AJ, you're going up or down from one million. Say up. I've definitely gone up. And I can tell you I've gone, I've gone up, up. Thankfully, knowing this can be the average, okay, um, yeah, I feel yeah. very confident that it's a lot more than one million. So I've gone for 35 million. 35 wow. million. Because I think our, our average is going to be in a good spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so your average, Jesse and AJ, is 18 million. Now, Aisha, you work on the radio, Times Radio. Yeah, well, um, I was just thinking. What's the health of the industry? Monthly figures. And I've gone for. Uh, 20 million. 20 million, just based on your own personal Just based yeah, yeah, on yeah. my own on personal show, of course. You think my own show plus, say, let's say, a million. For <laughs> Simon, up or down? I have a vague memory that the breakfast show gets something like 2 million, but I don't know if that's based on anything or not. So I've kind of gone up from that. Right. But I've gone for 6 million, but not with six any real reason. million. Ooh. So your average, Aisha and Simon? It's 13 million. We've got 13 million, we've got 18 million. What do you think at home? How many adults listen to the radio each week in the UK? And who scored the points? <gasps> 48 oh, and a wow. half million is the answer. Wow. 88% of adults. That positive to the radio. energy is picking up now. Wow. It yes. really is. You see what happens? Yeah. See, wow. Jesse, it's fascinating. You are 47 and a half million out. I'm really glad for but radio. You get the point. Yeah. Oh, you brilliant. get the point because of the positive energy oh, that you. AJ is bringing you. you. That's what we do. Well Team played, work. AJ. <laughs> um, let's take a look at your next question. How many miles long <laughs> is the Canada USA border? And that includes the border with Alaska as well. So it's sort of. You've got two. Oh, good. I'm glad we clarified. Yeah, I don't know that. why I'm doing this. I'm just like. <laughs> You're going, like Hold a, on a yeah, minute. Yeah, of course. Count yeah. across. Huh. Oh my God. I'm trying to think how far is it to drive here. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the trouble in Britain, isn't it? We can, only, we can only work out, like, how long is it to drive from, like, Glasgow to Liverpool or from Manchester to London. Um, what do you think at home on this one? What are you going to go for? Aisha, what's your thinking and what's your answer? I'm thinking it's, it's very long. 
there are many, many miles. Yeah. Um, so I've just randomly plucked a figure out there. I've gone for 7,000 miles. 7,000. Simon, up or down from 7,000? I've gone a bit lower, but yeah. I think between us, we might have a good kind of balance <laughs> here, because I was... I'm I've... already looking forward to what Jess is going to say, by the way. She's, like, head, my, head in hand. My thinking we is... We have polar officers over here, I've got a feeling. <laughs> my thinking is my sister lives in California. That's about... I think that's about 10,000 miles. Oh. I was trying to figure out, but there's loads of miles all going around the lakes or something, aren't yeah, there? So, I guess anyway, so. I've gone for... 3,987. 3,987. So your average, Aisha and Simon? 5,493 and a half miles. That sounds pretty yeah, good. That sounds all right. Possible. Sounds good. Jesse Cave, <laughs> now, where are you on this? I thought that we were all going to go big. OK. So I put 30,000 miles. <laughs> I feel like the radio has really influenced your exactly. answer here. I, I... Maybe it will be 30,000 Exactly. Miles. I just thought, you know... Uh, I, I just I added a couple of zeros. I first of all I put just three hundred, and then I lost confidence. Three hundred, yeah, I'm not surprised. Had two zeros. Thirty thousand miles. <laughs> uh, AJ, up or down? I've gone down. <laughs> okay, you <laughs> enough. Me. Yeah, um, I've gone for two thousand miles. Okay. I feel like I should have gone a little bit higher, but thankfully I went lower to yes. try and <laughs> even out this average score. Lovely. Okay, so your average. Is strong average. 16,000. Mm. Listen, who knows? But I'm going to hope there's quite a lot of lakes, like you said, that yeah. are really. And you've got the top as well. I don't know how long that Alaska border is. That yeah. could be, yeah. you know. So we've got 16,000, we've got 5,500 here. What are you saying at home? Anyone know this one at home? Anyone done that drive? How many miles is the border and who has won the point? Whoa, Ooh. look at that. Look at that average. 5,525. <laughs> solid. You are 30... Oh, that's a shock. Well, that's, that's a cat that itself. Very that's good. pretty good. You are 32 uh... miles out between the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's very, very impressive. 5,525. Very well done if you got close to that at home. Let's have a look at our last question in this round. Set in 2017, what is the world record for most yoghurt eaten in one minute <laughs> in grams? What? I don't one suppose minute. we can know how many grams are in a yoghurt pot. That's what I was wondering. You're like a little I don't know what a regular yoghurt pot is. Uh, there's about 100 grams in a, in a one regular yoghurt pot. OK. A, you know, one of the little ones. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what um, four yoghurt pots would look very nice on. Four, <laughs> four coasters, am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> OK, we're all in here. What do you think at home on this one? Now, AJ, what was your thinking? I've gone for 6,000 grams. <sighs> wow. So that's like 60... I feel like when you see these people do these world records, yeah. eating, it's like it's obscene how quick they can do it. So I feel like if somebody's really... Going for it. ...put their whole life and on... That's a world record. Prof yeah. ...professional eating, like, it's got to be something good, hasn't it? So that's six kilos of yoghurt. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Jesse, you're saying... Well, uh, yeah, I put 4,000 to begin with. And you've gone for 400. And, now and then I panicked. So, actually, hopefully, that's... Team so, Waste Stream works. So, again, this amazing symbiosis between the two of you, let's take a look at your average. 3,200. 32 pots. feel happy with that. Yeah, yeah. that's feel good. Like good. good um, Aisha, what are you saying? So, I was thinking of those big sort of 500 pots of, like, Greek yoghurt, which oh, yeah. I'm quite partial to. Yeah. I was thinking if you had a big enough spoon, you right. could actually Demolish get quite... One of those. Yeah. yeah. So I've yeah. gone for 2,000. 2,000, says Aisha. Simon, up or down from that? I'm not going to make much difference here. I've gone for 2,116. Your average, uh, Simon and Aisha, is 2,058. So we've got 3,200 <laughs> and we've got 2,058. Fifty-eight. What is the record for most yogurt eaten in one minute, and which team has scored a point? Whoa! One thousand six hundred eighty-five. I feel very <laughs> upset that whoever is doing this world record has not put the time and effort in. Yeah, that exactly. feels beatable. Yeah, I'm not that That's impressed sad. with that. This is listen. That's I don't a sad know, loss. I don't know who did it, but uh, it's a soft record. Point goes to Aisha and Simon. Very well done. That's the well end done. of the round. Tab this away, please. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. So, everybody off the mark, Jesse and AJ, you have one point each. Aisha, you've got four. Simon Hickson, he's our leader with six. Two point lead, Simon. Nicely done. Let's move right along to our next round. Today, that is.
bowel <laughs> movements. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you a series of clues and something connects those clues, OK? However, all the clues have had their vowels replaced. So, essentially, any time there's a vowel, we've changed it to a different vowel. All right, so I'm going to show you some clues. You've got to work out what those clues are and then tell me what connects them. Here is your first list. Fingers on buzzers. Tarto. Ganuasa. Blick Ferris Gitao. Victario Spangi. Yes, Simon. They're all cakes. Are they all cakes? Absolutely right. Tarto is taught. Ganuasa. Genoese, Blick Ferris Gitao. <laughs> that was probably the biggest clue there, Black Forest Gatto. And Victorio Spangi, Victoria Sponge. Here's your next list. What connects these, please? Rung. Bongli. Nakluka. Uerong. Simon. Jewelry. Jewellery, absolutely. Ring, bangle, necklace ah. and earring. Well done, Simon. What connects these, please? Tuto. Shelder. Mosomgor. Sochul. Yes, Jesse. Bags. Are they bags? Oh, of course they are. Well done. Ah. Pope, shoulder, messenger, satchel. Well played, Jesse. Point to you. What connects these four, please? Deltoid. Edoctor. Picturel. Bokips. Yes, Aisha. Muscles. They muscles. They are. Well done. Deltoid, adductor, pectoral and biceps. Next list. Can ear. Gastrudor. Yes, Simon. Nicholas Cage films. Nicholas Cage films. Comes in very early. Well done. Oh, wow. Con Air and Coach Schneider. And Kakis becomes Kickass. And, well, I mean, <laughs> listen. You read that last one out yourselves. <laughs> becomes face-off. <laughs> Nicholas Cage films. Final question in this round. Cubre. Block Odar. Yes, Jesse. Snakes. Snakes, surely. Well played. Cobra and Black Adder there. And then Onokundo becomes Anaconda. And Bay Constructor <laughs> becomes Boa Constrictor. <laughs> Well played, Jesse. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at how it has left us. Another good round for Simon there. Good round for Jesse as well. AJ, you have one. Jesse, you've got three. Aisha has five. We've got two rounds to go. And Simon Hickson has a four point lead. Well played, Simon. Very nicely done. <laughs> Moving right along to round four, which today is. I'm terrible at dating. If you take your tablets out, please. I'm going to mention a series of things from world history, and you just have to write down the year in which you think they happened, please. And whoever is closest gets themselves a point. Um, have a little go at home as well. The first thing I'd like you to guess is this. Alessandro Volta invents the first electric battery. <laughs> when did that happen? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, OK. Jesse, any clue here at all? No, I am very bad with um, anything to do with history. Yeah. I've gone for 1882. 1882? I just feel like it was earlier than we think. AJ, earlier than you think? If I could have changed it, I would change it now, but I've, okay. I've wrote 1935, but I feel like I'm too late. I should have gone earlier. Should have gone earlier, but 1935, you said. Aisha, what are you thinking? I've actually gone very close to Jesse. And I've gone for 1880. 1880, very close to Jesse. 
Simon, who are you close to? I haven't a clue, but I'm right in the middle of you all. I've gone for 1903. 1903. So we've got two in the 20th century, two in the 19th century. What do you think at home on this one? When was the first electric battery invented by Alessandro Volta? Who scored a point? 1800. Wow. Oh, my goodness. 1800, Aisha, you win the point. Wow. It was much earlier than you thought, Jesse. 1800. You, you're both in the right century, though. Yeah, wow. Next question. Henry VIII is born. Oh, I mean, <laughs> listen, we've all done it at school. I'm I sure of that. We've all done it at school, but, but I, can't, it's... Um... I can't remember anything. It's going to be embarrassing. I'm so isn't it? glad I don't play this round. <laughs> <laughs> I literally blank. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm I mean, just going to write a number and then write I'm just going to. Write a number. We it's going to get embarrassing. Over whatever it is. OK, and we'll never have to think about it again. Everyone is locked in. Uh, AJ, we start with you, I fear to tell you. Let's just say a number and move on. 1,600. 1,600. And a bit of confusion, just... Yeah, I don't, doesn't sound... Uh, I, think yeah. You, I think you got away with it. Aisha, up or down? Down, 1,500. 1,500. 1,600, 1,500. So far, so 24 hour clock. Simon, what are you saying? <laughs> down a little bit more, 1,458. Just random, I don't know. 1,458. No. Yeah. And Jesse? Uh, 1663. 1663. Uh, what do you think at home? I know some of you will know who's got the point already. Let's find out, shall we? When was Henry VIII born? Who has scored a point? 1491. Aisha gets another point. Very close. Very well done. 1491. Well played. Very well done at home if you uh, got that bang on. Next date. Oh. The first postcodes are trialled in Britain. That's interesting, isn't it? Tiny bit after the birth of Henry VIII. If you think, but maybe not. Bit. Maybe Who knows? My address is Hampton Court Palace, <laughs> H HC1. Um, what do you think at home on this one? The first postcodes. Quite hard to get a grip on it. OK, everyone is in. It's tricky, this, isn't it? Aisha, we start with you. What's your thinking? For some reason, I've got this sense that maybe they trialled them a long, long time mm. ago because post was like a thing for like a long time. Yeah. I'm probably way out. 18... 1850. 50. But yeah, sometimes on these ones it is, they're much, much earlier than you think because they trial them and then, you know. Simon, what are you thinking? I changed my mind three times with... Yeah. <laughs> and I was trying to think of when stamps first came on the scene, like Penny Blacks and everything, but yeah. and I knew they were Victorian, but even then I, I confused myself. And I think I've put the same answer up for one of the other questions. Oh, really? OK. And I've just... I think I went for 1903 Nin before. Oh, I've excellent. just gone for 1903. Well, at least it wasn't the same as the Henry VIII answer. <laughs> so, 1903. Jesse, what's your thinking? 1890. I thought quite early, but not as early. And, like, a little firework display as well there. Yes, just yeah. that's me making a decision. <laughs> excellent. That's, like, literally an imprint of the inside yeah. of your brain. <laughs> yeah. um, AJ, what are you thinking? I went much earlier. I went for... 1790. I thought, like, Interesting. when you consider buildings have been there forever in reality, yeah, so like, maybe they had. Um... Why wouldn't a postcode be there, especially a child? Yeah. What do you think at home on this one? I bet there are some very, very divergent answers at home. We've got divergent answers here as well. Um, I don't think any of us have a clue. It's probably the point. I'll tell you, <laughs> it was trialed in Norwich. Oh. It was the first place it was trialed. That much I know. Let's find out when it was trialed and who has scored the point. <laughs> 1959. Wow. Simon, you, 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 <laughs> somehow, ridiculous. you somehow fluked the point there. <laughs> very well done if you went late 50s on that one. Very nicely played. That is the end of that round. Tablets away, please. We have one more round to go. Lovely oh, like time for round. Simon to score a little point there. With just answer smash to go. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. AJ stood on one, Jesse on three. Aisha has seven points. Simon Hickson, three-point lead, going into our final round. Well played, Simon. <laughs> and that final round, of course, is... <laughs> answer Smash. We play it for the first time this week. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. There'll be a question, there'll be a picture beneath. Smash them together, please. Best of luck, one and all. About to find our first champion of the week. Your first category is... Film musical stars. So those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue above. Smash the clue into the picture. Which British chat show hosted by a married couple featured the competition You Say, We Pay? 
Yes, Simon. Richard and Judy Garland. Richard and Judy Garland is the right answer. Richard and Judy and Judy Garland becomes Richard and Judy Garland. Next clue, next picture. Aretha Franklin recorded a 1972 gospel album that shared its name with which hymn? Aisha. Amazing Grace Kelly. Amazing Grace Kelly. It's the right answer, Aisha. Well played. Amazing Grace and Grace Kelly becomes Amazing Grace Kelly. Next one. Which 1977 song was the first single by the Sex Pistols to reach the UK top ten? Aisha. Uh, God save the Queen Latifah. God save the Queen Latifah. <laughs> It's the very satisfying right answer. <laughs> God save the Queen Latifah. Next category. Medical supplies. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. Happy, calm and quiet are books by which radio presenter and former celebrity juice captain? Yes, AJ. Fern Cottonwall. Fern Cottonwall. <laughs> Absolutely. Well played. Next question, next picture. Which 1980s game show presented by Jim Bowen took its title from a term commonly used in darts? Yes, Simon. Bull's eye drops. Bull's eye drops? <laughs> Bull's eye drops. <laughs> Why does that sound rude? <laughs> Here's what you could have won. Bull's, <laughs> Bull's eye drops. Well played if you said that. Next question. What was Emma Bunton's nickname when she was in the Spice Girls? Yes, Aisha. Baby Spice Pack? Baby Spice Pack? Is right. Baby Spice and Ice Pack. Baby Spice Pack. Next category. Ah, <laughs> oh, we finished our first show. That was fun. <laughs> that was that great. Was yeah, I loved that. I enjoyed that ever so much. Um, lovely final round as well. Lots of people getting on the board. But we have our first winner. He was leading, and he got a few right in that one. I think we know who's won at Monday's House of Games. Uh, well played, one and all, but our first champion of the week is... Simon Hickson. Well done, Simon, by two points. <laughs> Thank you. Just two points there, Aisha. Nearly caught him on the line. So, Simon, we have only one thing to... Uh, <laughs> only one thing to sort out. And listen, I might have to hold you to it, but I'll here take are the prizes. Them. You going for them? I'm going for the coasters, yep. Simon Hickson wins the House of Games I'm coasters. I'm the coasters, definitely. Lovely. How many are there? The coasters? Yeah. 50. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Full quarter for yeah, you. So, and, and also, they don't look at They are massive. <laughs> honestly, you could, you could pave your patio with them. <laughs> uh, Simon, congratulations. Very, very well played. Well played, everyone. Let's take a look at the first weekly leaderboard. Simon uh, taking the maximum of four points through, of course. Aisha with three, Jesse with two, AJ with one. That was great fun. I almost want to do the same thing again tomorrow, shall we? Yeah. Awesome. That'd be lovely. I'll see you all here, same time, same place. We'll see you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. Lovely. Stop pretending you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely am happy. That you is... know I am. You know I am. Oh, you know what? I genuinely know you are. I Richard, mean, listen, you can sign them for him. I'll, <laughs> I'll sign them. Makes them even less valuable. Yeah. <laughs>